Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to calibrate your monitor on your Windows 11 computer. So this should be a pretty straightforward process, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. You want to start by opening up the search icon, type in display. When the best match, it should come back with calibrate display color. Go ahead and open that up. So at this point you can see it says you can improve the color on your display by using the display color calibration to make sure that colors appear accurately. To get started, move this window onto the display that you want to calibrate and then click Next. So once you've done that, go ahead and select Next. So to get started and set basic color settings for your display, press the menu button for your display. The menu button is usually located in the front of your monitor. Open the on-screen display menu. Determine which button opens the on-screen display menu, see documentation for your display, and the specific color settings that you can set depend on your display and its capabilities. You can set your display to factory default color settings, and if you can't specify these settings, just click Next to continue. So go ahead and select Next. And now ahead, you can go ahead and make your adjustments depending on what looks like the proper settings here. So Gamma defines a mathematical relationship between the red, green, and blue color values that are set to the display and the amount of light that's ultimately emitted from it. When adjusting Gamma on the next page, try and get the image to look like the sample image labeled Good Gamma below. So go ahead and select Next. And then once you have it as you remember it on the previous page, you would just go ahead and again make the adjustments to the left or right on the left side here. And then you would select Next. And then you can go ahead and make adjustments to your brightness. So brightness and contrast controls your display. So you can modify it directly on your monitor, or you can go select next to go through the brightness settings here. And then once you've made your selection, you can go ahead and select next. And now at this point, you go customize it for your display. So use the controls in your display to set it higher or lower. So this will be an actual setting on the monitor itself. And you want to keep doing it until you can distinguish the shirt from the suit with the X barely being visible. So once you've done that, you would go ahead and select Next. You do the same kind of setup for the contrast settings here as well. So again, it's a pretty straightforward process there, guys, just kind of following along with your on-screen prompts. Select Next, and then you would go ahead and again adjust the settings on your monitor. And you just would follow along again with the on-screen prompt, setting up the red, green, and blue sliders here as well. And you just would finish up just to do that. And you can also enable clear type which will make the text you see on the screen sharper, clearer, and easier to read, which is just a bonus, basically. And you can go ahead and select Next. And then you can go through the clear type text tuner here. So pretty straightforward process, guys. Do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.